Somebody get that! What are you doing? Rubbing your ass to arouse you. I'm not in the mood. Why aren't you in the mood? Jesus, Josh, I don't know. I just opened my eyes and I'm staring at the tailpipe of a car, which reminds me that I'm living in a garage because my apartment's condemned. My life isn't exactly what you'd call a winning trajectory. Want me to rub your tits? <gasps> oh! Josh, didn't you hear the phone? Of course I heard it. It woke me up. That's the driving school phone. There's a machine. You're on call. Mom's out. Hey, if I wanted your opinion, I'd wipe my ass with it. You'd wipe your ass with it? Wow, the part of my brain that translates Josh into normal just blew up. Shut up, Sheldon, okay? It's my job to answer the phone, so I'll make an executive decision to not answer the phone. Now, if you don't mind, my girlfriend and I are about to make love. That was the nuts. Up above us all Leaning into sky A golden business boy Watch the north and die And sing I love this town then let his arcing wrecking ball proclaim I hate Winnipeg That Saul Gurton is a crook. He offered me just $40 for my desk and all the filing cabinets. Ivy, come here and look at this. What? You have $100 a month coming out of your account for a storage warehouse in Brandon. I still have that. And do you know what you're paying to store there? Go on. Tulip kids. Oh, my God, I remember. They were all the rage in 84. A security guard was trampled to death on Christmas Eve. The next year, I buy 1000 Tickle Me Elmo comes out, I sell five. Well, I called that collector in Florida. You know the guy that bought all those little army men off us? He'd kill for tulip kids. Then we are going to Brandon. Road trip. <laughs> Let's go. Why? Hey, um, I know it's early. Sorry. But listen up. My Aunt Clara just called. She offered us a job. A hundred bucks each. A hundred bucks would be nice. Yeah. Means we can go on our fancy date. Sheldon, you remembered. I was afraid you thought it was silly. It's not silly. And we can go real fancy with $200. Okay, I'm coming over. Just give me five more minutes. No. Get up, 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 get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Blackish Driving School? Really? Well, when did you call? I see. Oh, no, no, you don't have to cancel. We can just rebook. OK. Well, I'm sorry, too. Josh! Where's your brother? He's supposed to be answering the phones. Oh, he knows. Your dad is in the hospital. Everybody in this family has to step up, and he's in there sleeping. What is wrong with him? You've met Josh, right? That's it. He's fired. Who's fired? Josh! Clara, I am a partner in this business. You have to clear these kinds of decisions with me. Annie, we have talked about this. This is the right thing to do. I just can't fire someone I gave birth to. All right, then I will do it. I will fire him. You're firing me? Yeah, right, Clara. I'd like to see you try. Right, Ma? Hey, honey. I got some good news. And I got some bad news, too. What's the bad news? I think it's going to be a while before we're going to be able to afford the mini fridge in here. <laughs> What's the good news? Good news is I'm no longer an employee of Blecker's Driving School. Josh, we need money. You can't quit. Didn't quit. 
Mom fired me. Wait, I know what you're thinking. Bad thing, right? Here is why it's not. Career advancement. You don't have a career. Yes, my acting. See this, it gives me so much time to focus on it. And what do we do for money? <sighs> We're working, right? What are you doing there? You just packing up to go to work, babe? We need to spend some time apart. What? You're leaving me? Yes. Oh, I get it. Yeah, stick around for the good times, huh? What good times? I thought they were ahead of us. Baby, it's always darkest before dawn. No, it's always dark before it gets darker. As soon as I get my stuff packed, I am out of here. Fine! Uh. Fine then! So can we hire him back now? No. Don't you dare limp out. He's an atrocious employee. The worst. It's not like you despise him. No, I don't. I want what's best for him. Tough love. He has to learn. Okay. I guess I... Josh? Not talking to you. How could you? Come on, honey. Can I make you some breakfast? Not hungry. How about some coffee? Why don't you just fire the coffee? Josh, could you get the door? Yeah, I could. <sighs> Asshole. Traitor! Ding dong. Oh. So, are you ready to go? Go where? To Brandon. Why the hell would I go to Brandon? Are you negotiating with me because I'm not going to pay more than 200? $200? What? You're not going to Brandon. I'm going to Brandon with Miriam. Yeah. Old guy just offered me the job, so. Josh, there are only four seats in the van and Clara already asked me and Miriam. Yeah, right. I'll see you in the van. You're not going. Get out of my way. You're not going. Get out of my way. Yeah, I'll pick you in the blanket. Hey, where'd you go? Where'd you go? What's going on? He's trying to come with us. Oh, hell no. You are not going to Brandon. You want to know why? Because I cannot stand the thought of being stuffed in a van for two hours next to you, you useless Clara! I think Josh should go. Mom? I'm sorry, Sheldon. Josh should go. Fine. We leave in five minutes. Mm. Oh. Thanks, Ma. No. Look, you were supposed to come, but my mom gave your job to Josh. What about the fantasy date? Oh, right. If only you go, we still get half the money. And it's still worth it, though, right? To the fancy date, then? Near you. Why don't you stay? Let's us to have some girl time. Girl time? We could uh, make cookies, we could bond and, huh? Sure. What are you staring at? A stupid, useless idiot. Takes one to know one. Wow, Josh, you just admitted you're stupid, you stupid I know you are, but what am I? I always remember road trips as being fun. I'm having fun. Josh, get your feet off my seat. Well, I'm cramped. Off, now! Ah. Eyes on the road, hands at ten and two, Claire, come on. Bite me. A hundred bottles of beer on the wall, a hundred bottles of beer. Okay, I'm alone here. Forget it. So, I heard you and Sheldon talking about a fancy date. Yeah. What does that mean? Is that some kind of youth code? What do you mean? You can tell me. Does fancy mean motel or something? What? No. 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 Fancy date is... It's, um, it's just a fancy date. Oh. Oh. <laughs> So, is it a special occasion? Well, kind of... It... Excuse me, Mrs. Bleacher. Do you have any empty boxes? Oh, uh, yeah, in the garage. 
I need them to pack my stuff in. Oh, did you two find another apartment? No. I'm breaking up with Josh. Do you know that he lost his job today? Mm-hmm. I know. Oh, I just can't believe you'd be breaking up with him on the day that he got fired. Well, I find it hard to believe that you would fire your own son. Well, that is not the point. The point is that you were leaving him at his time of need. No, the point is that his own mommy fired him because he's a deadbeat. My son is not a deadbeat! Then why did you fire him? You know what? There are lots of boxes in the garage. Why don't you just knock yourself out? You never liked me. Well, I'm still waiting for a reason, honey. So, how long have you and Shelton been dating? Is this place out of business? No, they're still milling me. Hey! So, finally, Murphy sent you? I'm sorry, what? Oh, yeah. You're from Murphy. <clears throat> I've got a storage locker here. Right. It's about time Murphy sent somebody out here. Murphy? Yeah. You can tell him. We get the point. Lesson learned. Won't happen again. Artie, show me a key. We're just going to his locker. Whatever you want. It's all there. We wouldn't fuck with Murphy's shit. You need anything. Just let me know. Josh. Okay, guys. Those guys are total thugs. Here it is, is 90. I'm sorry, but am I the one who thinks that we should back away slowly from this one? Stop Maybe. whining. What is that? This is Blacker. Oh, honey, call me Anne. Mrs. Blacker's awfully quiet up there. Oh, is Shonda still here? Yeah, she was in the bathroom when I came down. I think she was crying. Crying? She's a very dramatic girl. And she sounded really upset. I've been really hard on her, haven't I? Yes. Chandra, it's Anne. Open the door. I have cookies. No, oh, please. Stop pretending like you give a crap. Oh, I do give a crap, honey. A lot of it. <laughs> so sad. Yes, this is sad. Thank you, Miriam. I think it's sad, too. Only after Miriam said it was sad. <laughs> What's that? I have a headache. I need something strong. Okay, stay away from the pills, Chandra. No pills. No, come on, open the door. My behavior today has just been unforgivable. What can oh. I do? Can I help you pack? <laughs> so that's it? That's so it. Let's go. We don't get paid? Get paid by living. Just thought the car. No, 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 no. I didn't come all the way out here to not get paid. Josh, these people are dangerous. Yes. Yeah, what are we still doing here? Come on, let's go. Oh, you guys are such pussies. Look at them. They're harmless. No, you're a moron. Look, I just want to get paid, okay? So we all have to suffer because you're useless? I'm not useless. Really? Didn't you get fired by mom this morning? I'm sure you're useless. Josh! What, what are you doing? Josh? Josh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hold it. Come. No! Oh, no! Oh, back up here. What's this, huh? How do we know who we are? My God. What is this? What's he doing? What's he doing? You're... We're dead. <gasps> He'll get us killed. <gasps> What's she doing? Let's go. They know. They know what? Who we are. This is Artie, the butcher, Rosen. I thought the butcher was dead. Is that a threat? No, sir, Mr. Butcher. No. This is Mr. Murphy's slam piece. Slamantha Peasington. Who's the fat kid? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you just call Skinny Pete fat? No. He's not fat. He's skinny. Hey, Skinny Pete. Yeah, Skinny Pete. Hey. Now, 
If you gentlemen will please go find our dolls. Dolls. <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay. Skinny feet. Is this what we're looking for? Not unless your tulip dolls come with lifelike vaginas. Oh, Artie! Come see your retirement. You sure you got absolutely everything you need? Yeah, we're good. And that's the first thing I'll tell Murphy. I want you to tell Murphy something else. You see the look in my eyes? This is how sorry we are. Would you take this look back to Murphy? Got it. Thanks, bro. We gotta get out of this shit hole. We've been here three weeks, man. I have a cat. I still, I still hope I do. What'd you guys do, anyway? If we could bring the dead back to life, we would, but we don't have Jesus' hands. Would you tell him that? Yeah. So, guy's head's in a vice standard, right? Right. Somebody had to crank the handle a little too hard. It was sticking. Mistakes are made. Fucking head popped like a grape. Okay. Well, bye then. Right on, brother. Oh. Happy trails, man. Oh my God. What? 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 Those guys were killers, Artie! Go! Ah! Ah! I don't think I'm useless, right? <laughs> I just figured out what's so great about you, Josh. What's that, Sheldon? Well, just look at today, okay? You slept in, got fired by mom, got into a fight with me, then got dumped by your girlfriend, and nearly got us all killed. Whatever, Sheldon. No, don't you see that's the great thing about you? You're never dull. Then there was Becky Nussbinder. She was his older woman. Oh, very generous. For his birthday, bought him two tickets to Cancun, but he took an acting buddy instead. So when uh. Becky starts freaking out, he gets upset with her for not telling him that she wanted to go. <laughs> Am I supposed to feel better? Oh, Chandra, before you, Josh never even brought any girlfriends around the family, and he, he never had a girl move into the garage before. Really? Yeah, you're the first. Oh, what should I do? Well, this is a very difficult decision, and... Sandra, <laughs> do you really want to break up with him? No! <laughs> He's so sweet! <laughs> and the sex is so good! <laughs> Hey, uh, wait, can you drop me off at this mall? I just want to get something for Marion. Sure, honey. Okay, I'm gonna pay you guys out. Now, I said uh, 200 bucks, right? Yeah. Yep. Well, a little proposition for your danger pay. You can either split the 200 or 1% of the dolls. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I'll take the cash. No, take the 1%. No way, cash is a bird on the bush. Take the 1%, trust me. 
Okay, fine. What's one percent? Well, a hundred bucks a doll, a thousand of them. That's uh, one hundred thousand dollars. Dude, that's like five grand each. No, no, no. no. Five hundred each. There. Yeah, th this is too much. Shut up, fat boy. Thanks, Artie. My pleasure. Hey. I think I'm gonna get Sean or something. That's the spirit. Go down swinging. All right. Thanks a lot, Old Spice. You look tired. Let me drive. Wait, can you still drive at your age? After today, I feel 20. Come on, move it. <laughs> Hands at 2 and 10. Yeah. Where's the clutch? Uh, no, there's no clutch. Relax. Just... I'm kidding. Oh, sorry. It's been a day. It's been a wonderful day, and for that I thank you. Okay. Just drive, Artie. Just drive? <laughs> it's a road trip. We're supposed to be having fun. All right. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. Tell us. What is this fancy date about? It's nothing. Oh, please. Sheldon never tells us anything. Oh, yeah, tell. Tell, tell, tell. It's silly. What's so silly then, huh? Come on, Miriam. Come tell. on. Tell. Tell us. Uh, it's our six week anniversary. Oh, oh my. Oh, sweetie. Six weeks. That's fantastic. <laughs> Can I ask who's calling, please? I didn't tell you. I'm teaching a seminar on useless. Which you will then not show up for. Nice. Get the phone. You get the phone. Get it. Get the phone. Get the phone. Get the phone. Sheldon. You get the phone. Dude, it's still ringing. 